Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great day. So just before I get into this video, I want to preface it by saying that I don't entirely like to label myself as a minimalist. Even though I naturally tend to align with minimalistic values, I don't particularly like the certain connotations that this label or labels in general really bring. But I thought it would be easier if I did just use this label for the purpose of this video. But anyway, I'll get into that. I'll get more in detail into that later in the video. For now, let's just jump straight into it. How did I become a minimalist? Well, it definitely didn't happen overnight and I actually didn't really realize what I was doing until I was fully immersed into it. But to tell you the complete truth, I just was not happy with the life that I had created for myself. I felt surrounded and suffocated by my material possessions and like I was lacking in the meaningful aspects of my life. I was so sick of the clutter. I felt like my physical clutter had manifested itself into mental clutter. I felt stressed and pressured to keep up with the trends and new things being pushed on me constantly. And I was basically just earning money to spend money. So I really wanted to make a change. And without realizing it, I had actually already taken that first step, which is defining my why. Before I could go ahead and start getting rid of all my physical stuff, I had to understand why I was doing it. Otherwise, I would just find myself back into my old ways. So all of those reasons I explained just before, they were my why. Why I wanted to really make this big change in my life and look forward to a more meaningful life of less. But before I got to the minimizing and putting things in bags step, I really wanted to reframe my mindset from a binging buyer to a conscious consumer. And in order to change this mindset, I needed to figure out why I had this innate desire to want the latest stuff. Marketing is so clever. They carefully craft a story of a better life through the incorporation of their products. If you have an iPhone, you'll be sleek, professional, fast, powerful, savvy, and popular. Even the cleaning products reel us in with the promise of having the cleanest home for all of our 30 friends to enjoy for all those dinner parties we host every weekend. Marketing sells the ideal life. Popularity, abs, social status, or glowing skin. They're either solving a problem or giving your life an upgrade. And with technology literally everywhere, we are constantly bombarded with these ads. With every product holds this promise of a better life, the life that we want. But when I realized this, I actually thought about it and realized that my life never actually got better in the way that they said it would with the purchase of these products. And so I thought, well, if it doesn't get any better when I purchase these things, why do I need to purchase them in the first place? And reframing my mindset like this seriously helped me when it came to that physical side of things, when I was finally ready to just remove and downsize things in my life. And it was all around a year ago now when I started removing the physical clutter. And I did it really slowly because I didn't want to rush into things and just get rid of everything straight away. And because I might regret that. I just wanted to do it at my own pace, really nice and slowly. I started by cleaning out my cupboard that I hadn't touched in literally 10 years. It took quite a while, but I found this process to actually be so cleansing and refreshing. I then moved on to the other spaces in my life, like my desk, my everyday bag, my bathroom cupboard and drawers. The final piece of the puzzle for me was tackling my clothes. And I deliberately made this step the last step because it was the aspect of my life that frustrated me the least out of everything else. And I actually made a video on this and I've linked that below if you are interested in seeing that video and seeing the exact process I use, which I use for all the other aspects of my life as well. But basically everything that I kept in this whole sorting process mattered to me and added meaning and value into my life. So it, I either had to absolutely love it, use it really frequently, or have it add value into my life in some other way, like childhood memories. And once I went through all these stages of figuring out my why, reframing my consumer mindset, and sorting through all my possessions, I arrived at where I am today, living a life that I love, full of less possessions, but a lot more time, meaning, and money. My life now consists of buying things that truly add value to my life in some way. And I definitely still do buy things. I'll 
if there's something that I absolutely love or something that I need to replace. But generally, I do tend to think through my purchases a lot more. And if I see something that I like that I haven't really planned on buying before coming in, I will let it sit for at least a week if I can before I go and purchase it just to make sure that it is worth my money for one and also that I'm not just getting back into those old habits of bringing clutter into my life that I eventually need to declutter all over again. And since that whole big declutter, I haven't gone through and decluttered in like that chunk again because I haven't felt the need to. But if I do notice something that no longer serves me, I will try and donate it or just remove it from my life in the way that's most suitable for whatever that is. But like I touched on at the start, I don't actually tend to label myself as a minimalist. What I love about this minimalistic lifestyle that I lead is the freedom that comes with it. I no longer feel bound by these societal, societal expectations or anything that's pushed on me by ads. I feel like I have the freedom to do and purchase as I please. But I feel like labeling myself as a minimalist just brings these certain connotations of trying to have the least amount of stuff possible or trying to get rid of the most and just, you know, only have 10 items of clothing or whatever. And that is just for me a different extreme and a different way of living restricted which is the complete opposite reason why I transitioned into this minimal lifestyle. So I just love the freedom that I feel in this lifestyle. I currently feel that it suits me in this place in my life so, so well. So I prefer to say that I live a minimal lifestyle rather than label myself as a minimalist. Okay, so that wraps this video up. Thank you so much for watching. If you are interested in more minimal talk, I do have two more videos below and I've linked those below. The first one is minimizing my wardrobe. So I take you through how I minimize my wardrobe. And secondly is how minimalism changed my life. So they're linked below if you're interested. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video and that you found value from it. I upload new videos every Thursday and I really, really can't wait to see you on the next one. Bye.